This video is on three-tiered architecture. Three-tiered architecture's goal is to improve system performance and security. Let's first look at this model from database perspective, so we understand the concept. There's one tier model, which basically doesn't need to communicate with anyone at all. All the database and the application exist on a single system, treat it as your computer with everything in it. Then we have the two tier architecture. We have the client workstation or system that runs an application that has to communicate with the database that is running on a different server. Then we have three tier architecture. The end user is effectively isolated from the database by the introduction of a middle tier server. The middle tier server basically becomes the middleman and accepts requests from clients, evaluates them, and sends them back to the database server for processing. The database server then sends the data back to the middle tier server, which goes through the evaluation process again, then sends the data back to the client. Now while we use database as example, this same model approach can be taken with devices such as routers, switches, and other servers. Now let's take a look at three tier architecture again. From the top, we have core layer. This is simply the backbone for routing and switching. This is where the switching and routing meets. Switching ends, routing begins. It provides high speed, highly redundant forwarding services to move packets between distribution layer devices in different regions of the network. This means that the core switches and routers needs to be the most powerful in the enterprise and would be used to manage the highest speed connections. Core switches also incorporate internal firewall capability as part of their features helping with segmentation and control of traffic moving from one part of the network to another. Then we have the distribution aggregation layer. This is the layer in which management takes place. This is where quality of service policies are managed, filtering is done, and routing takes place. It can be used to manage individual branch office wide area network connections. Lower latency and larger MAC address table sizes are the important features for switches used at this level because they aggregate traffic from thousands of users rather than hundreds like access or edge layer. Then we have the access edge layer switches that allow end users and servers to connect to the enterprise. This is where things like VoIP, computers, laptops connect. So once again, core layer is the backbone of the network where fastest routers and switches operate to manage the separate networks, whereas distribution and aggregation layer is the layer between access edge and core layers. It is the boundary layer where access control lists and layer 3 switches operate to properly manage data between VLANs and subnetworks. The access and edge layer is place where switches connect to and ensure data is delivered to edge and devices like computers and VoIP.